Hey, what's up? I'm hanging out. That's right. You know the CW26, we're teaming up with Kara, and that means we want new or gently used clothes, business clothes, to come on down. That's like, yeah, uh, suit jackets, dresses. We want you to come drop those off. Of course, we're going to talk to somebody from Kara and tell you more about the program. And yeah, you know those tough things to get out of your clothes? We're going to get some hints on how to get those out from some people from CD1 Price Cleaners. And of course, if you come on down, you already know we got some CW swag. More on the jam after this. Hey, that's right, hanging out here, CD1. And well, you know, CW, we're teaming up with Karen, and we need new or gently used clothing. And ladies, that's right, yesterday was International Women's Day. Help your sisters out. Fellas, come on, come on, come, come down, give us some pants, shirts, ties, whatever. Now, the great thing about this partnership with CD1 is they have 34 locations in and around Chicago, and some of them have this 24-hour drop box. That's right, we can just drop them anytime. But if you buy one, you can't, it doesn't have it, just come on in and say these clothes are for Kara. Now, in a minute, we're going to talk to my friend Mark. He's going to tell us more about the program, more on the jam after this. All right, welcome back, everybody. CW26, Me TV, and The Jam are teaming up with CD1 Price Cleaners to collect new and gently used work attire for the organization Kara. That's right. Tone Capone is live this morning at one of the collection sites in Schaumburg. Hey, Tone. Hey, what's going on? That's right. Hanging out with my friend Mark from Kara. Now, Mark. Uh, I, it, this, first of all, I want to tell you guys, this is a super great thing you guys are doing, man. And clothes bring confidence. We always yeah. are worried about how we're dressing, even with interviews, anything. Now, let's talk about what's the importance to care of you. Yeah, so the importance of care to me is that this is an organization that creates real change, real transformations in the lives of people who are experiencing homelessness and poverty in our city and beyond. Okay, now what types of clothes do you need? Let's get to that. Yeah, so care requires participants to wear professional attire because we want them to have that sense of professionalism, but also to feel confident in themselves. So mm -hmm. we're looking for all sorts of professional attire, suits, shirts, blazers, blouses, skirts, jackets, any sort of accessories and ties, things like that. Okay, and about how many people do, do care of benefit? How many? Yeah, so Kara serves more than 1,000 people each year between our trainings and our social enterprises that we own and operate. So as you can imagine, we go through a lot of clothing each year helping people. Oh, sounds great. Now, you were telling me a little bit off camera, you guys have a very lofty goal for this year. What's the goal for this year? Yeah, so this is our seventh year of partnering with CD1 Price. Mm -hmm. So we are looking to collect 7,000 pieces of clothing to help our participants. Man, it's, I, just, I just think it's amazing, right? Let's talk about, what, give me a great story really quick to shoot somebody that's went through the program. Yeah, so one of my favorites is a young woman named Cornisha. You may have met her here last week. Mm -hmm. She talked about that first day when she put on that suit to go to Kara. She got on the train and she said that she just felt like a real boss lady when she walked out that door. Yeah. It's just amazing. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's got to make you feel good. Like I said, we all struggle all the time about oh, what am I going to wear to work? Yeah. And we were always wondering. And then to have somebody that had you know, they need, they need that help, right? They need that help, and you guys are helping them along the way. It's a beautiful sure. thing. I, mean, I picked out three shirts today. I can't imagine what somebody went through our programs thinking about what they're going to wear. So. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, look, the Jam and CW26 and CD1 Price are teaming up to collect new or gently worn work clothes through the 27. Now, you can drop off your items at a participating CD1 Price cleaning locations. For more information, head to CW26Chicago.com. Not bad. That's right, still taking donations for Kara. That's right, maybe you can drop them off at any of the 34 locations at CD1 Price Cleaners, all right? But the great thing about this, we're getting ready to talk to my friend Michael to help us out get the stains out of our clothing. Like, yeah, pepperoni stains, hamburgers, juice, uh, cocktail juice, uh, well, yeah, you kind of know. Those things, the ones that I need help with, and we're going to help you out. More of the jam coming up. Hey, that's right. Hanging out with my friend Michael from CD1 Price Cleaners. Now, we're going to talk about real quick. Now, you guys are teaming up. We're all teaming up with Kara to just help people out, right? Now, let's talk about some of the drop-off locations. How do people drop off clothes? Okay, we have 34 locations throughout Chicago land and mm -hmm. the suburbs. Many of them have a 24-hour drop box. Put your items in a bag, mark it Kara, put them in the drop box if that's convenient. Okay. If it's not, just bring in the things to the counter. Tell the counter person that it's for Kara. Yeah and we'll bring it in and, and clean it and get it off the care of. Perfect, perfect. Now, why is it important? Why would you guys important for, for CD1 to take well, care of? Well, is a great organization. It mm -hmm. helps people get back on their feet. It, it's a great organization, and, and CD1 always wants to give back to the community. Wherever we are, we want to give back. 
and we teamed up with Kara because we felt it was a really good fit. Absolutely. Now, we're going to talk about how to get some stains out in a minute. We'll be back with more of the jam. And all month long, we're asking you to donate your new and gently used work clothes to help those in need nail those future job interviews. Tone Capone is live this morning at one of the collection sites in Schaumburg. What's up, Tone? Hey, what's happening? That's right. Remember, we are collected for Kara, but my man Michael has been to help us out. Stains. Mike, I'm the worst eater ever. Well, stains all the time, every time I go out to eat. Tell me how we get some of those pesky stains out when we go out to have a meal. Absolutely. Tone, you're not alone. Okay. So let's say you're out at your favorite Italian restaurant. Mm -hmm. You order the pasta and the red sauce, and lo and behold, you drip on it. What you don't want to do is mm -hmm. the, the waitress always wants to bring you a towel with club soda on it. Exactly. Don't do that. Okay. Club soda has sugar. That will help set the stain and oxidize it. All you want to do is take a damp cloth and just dab it. Don't press it hard. Dab it. And then when you get home, flush it from the inside of the stain, from the backside, with some just run, cold running water. Then the most important step is get it to the CD1 price the next day, as soon as you can, and tell us what it is. You know, tell us what the stain was. You know, it was pasta sauce, it was olive oil, you know, what it is, because that'll give us a much better chance of getting it out. Absolutely. Now, hand sanitizer is a thing right now. And, and it is. By the looks of this, this will go about 20 bucks on the black market, <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> it probably I mean, would. I know, right? So, I mean, we're getting, you're getting these kind of stains on, because people are using it right now a lot, right? Yeah, so, yeah, let's talk about this a minute. When you use hand sanitizer, be careful not to get it on your clothing, because what happens is, is obviously it dries clear. But when we take it in to clean, a lot of times it'll pull color. So, you know, you drip this on your pants or on your shirt, and you clean it, and, and lo and behold, it pulls some color. And then what happens? You know, you're upset because you, you got this item that, yeah. that you think was ruined. And what's happened is the alcohol and so forth in the sanitizer is what's pulling that color when we clean it. Right. So just be, be careful with it. Don't stop using it, but just be careful not to get it on your clothes. Okay, now these are great tips. Basically what you should say is, is just bring it to CD1 price and let's just get it all done. That's right. That's right. Just Absolutely. Do it all. Let's get it all done. Hey guys, look, don't forget, man, that's right. The Jam CW26 and CD1 price have teamed up to collect new or gently worn work clothes through the 27. So you still have time. You can drop off your items at participating CD1 price cleaners at all the locations. For more information, head over to the CW26Chicago.com.